Damn, there's nothing to do on the internet. I wish there was something that could entertain me. But with those... I know, I'll just call the cute boy from school and invite him over. My mom won't even know, because she, she's not even here. Ha <laughs> But first I need to go downstairs and use the phone. Since my phone got chicken by my mom, and I'll just have to use the house phone. Hey, wait a minute. Why are you in here, trying to use the house phone? You're still grounded, remember? Oh, just shut the fuck up, Lucas. And go stick your nose into someone else's business, and leave me alone. I was just only calling a classmate for a school project that's due this week. Oh yeah. Like I'm gonna believe that. No, you're not. You're just gonna call one of your friends so you can snack out. Listen, dear you little shit. If you don't leave this room, I'm going to put your little fucking ass. Understand? Fine. You win this one. I'll just go back to my room, but I know you're up to no good. Anyways, time to call him. Oh my god. That must be him. Hey, come on in. Nice place you got here. Yeah, thanks. So anyways, wanna go back up to my room and do some studying, if you know what I mean by that. Sure. Why not cutely? I think you can learn a thing or two from me. All right. Let's go to my room. So anyways, what's the first lesson? Why don't you come and sit on my lap and I'll show you. Okay, Mr. Hudson. You know, I should check up on Danielle and see what she's doing. Hey, wait a minute. What's the noise I hear? Oh no. I can't let this happen. I have to call mom. Baby, why did you stop? Mom, it's not what it looks like, and why are you home so early? No, it is what it looks like, and it's absolutely disgusting. The reason why I'm home so early is because your brother told me what was happening. Thankfully I stopped you in time, and you Kevin, I already called your mom, so I would go wait downstairs in the living room if I were you. Well babe, I guess I'll see you later then. You too baby. And as for you, I told you, you weren't to have anybody over. But no, you disobeyed me, so now you're grounded for five weeks now. I will make sure that Kevin won't come over again, so that you won't pull off shit like this again. Is that understood? Yes, ma'am. Good. Now go to bed. I'm so disappointed in you. Danielle, oh my fucking god. Shut the fuck up, you stupid cry baby bitch. Kevin, are you fucking serious right now? Why the hell would you go out to Danielle's house and try to have sex with her? What the fuck is wrong with you? Not only that. But you two are 17, you both are not even adults yet, so you two shouldn't even be trying to have sex at 17, you both are underage. Which could mean you could have gotten her pregnant at 17, and you would become a dad at a young age. That's it, you're grounded for 8 weeks. Which means, you're grounded for many after football's game events, and you're only allowed to play that football games only. If I find out again you're seeing Danielle again, you will be grounded for 2 months and your punishments will be worst. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Good. Now go to your room. <laughs>